One, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three, one, two, three. Receiving. Callaway will receive. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Luck Wildwood Stadium for the first of two games featuring the Cavaliers of Cal Callaway versus the Eagles of Best Academy. The Georgia High School Association and the River Schools have made a commitment to promote good sportsmanship by students, athletes, coaches, and spectators in all Georgia High School Association sanctioned events. We find any new spreading remarks and intimidating actions. Yeah, go ahead. will not be tolerated and all grounds for removal from the site. Ready to roll? at today's event. Also, the staff of Lakewood Stadium asked that you remember that sportsmanship and courteous behavior are the keys to a safe and enjoyable event. We also ask that you notice the nearest exit from where you're sitting. Please note that the nearest exit may be a front row behind you. Small church must be under the supervision of an adult at all times. In the event of an emergency, please listen for directions from the game announcer and or stadium staff. Remember, there's no standing or sitting along the rails of the walls of the stadium. No standing or sitting along the rails of the walls of the stadium. Thank you in advance for your support and cooperation. And enjoy the day's game. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta, home of about nine uh, nine uh, private uh, public schools here in Atlanta, but today it is the home of the best Academy Eagles, and that is where Callaway is today. Hello, everybody. I'm Taylor Jones, and I bring in Randy Tittle. Randy, how's it been this week? Been pretty good. Been a long week, but it's been good. Yeah, I hear you on that one. So today, uh, Callaway looking to uh, remain undefeated in the region today as they take on a best academy team and I've always said all year long that I mean it just seems to me the best academy is just like a minor league Georgia Tech but then I look at their uniforms today and they look exactly like Tech did back in the 90s with the gold helmets and the blue jerseys they look I mean they just look exactly like uh, Georgia Tech and that is exactly uh, exactly what they are so we're getting ready for kickoff here at Lakewood Stadium Callaway is going to receive the ball first Best coming out in the gold helmets, blue jerseys, blue pants, white socks, white shoes. And Callaway doing something a little different tonight. They're coming out in the black helmets, traditional white jerseys, white pants, pink socks this time for uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. It is October 27th, probably the last game they'll be able to do that in October. And black shoes. Uh, Best Academy getting ready to tee it off. And we'll go through the region, uh, what happened last night and Thursday night in just a few moments whenever we get a second. But here we are getting ready to kick off the 2012 Callaway Cavaliers versus Best Academy Eagles 
game. Number 51 for Best is getting ready to uh, to kick off. Boom Lindsay and number four Terry Godwin back to receive the kickoff as usual. They have the ball teed off. Getting ready to uh, getting ready to kick it off. The Best Academy band coming in, and they're uh, having a good time rocking it out here. We'll get more uh, information on Best Academy yeah, in just a second. Right here. And it's a uh, very windy day here in Atlanta, Georgia. Isn't that right, Randy? Yeah. I'm having to hold on the sheets while you stand up <laughs> and watch the game. Yeah, I hear you on that one. Uh, got a story to tell you, too, in just a second. But the ball is in the air, and this game is underway. It looks like it's going to be number four. Terry Godwin takes it. He takes it to the 20. He gets to the 25, to the 30. Still on his feet down at around the 34-yard line, and that is where Callaway will begin their possession. And just like I was uh, telling you on the ride over here that uh, – I was telling you the story about the one time I went to Clemson last year. I went to the Clemson Wake Forest game last year, and that was my first experience at Clemson. I told you about how steep the upper decks are, and it seemed like I would have to go up, uphill halfway, stop, take a breath, and go the rest of the way up. And I was like, I'm not getting anything to drink. I'm not going to the bathroom. I'm doing anything. I'm staying right here. <laughs> That's exactly how this stadium is here, very, uh, very steep. Callaway coming out with their first possession ball on the 34-yard line, Tez Parts. The quarterback sends a guy in motion. Takes a snap. He's going to pitch it to the tailback. He'll get fight his way to the 35, to the 40. Still on his feet to the 45, to the 50, 45, 40, 30, 25, 15, 10, 5. He is gone on the first play of the game. That is number six, Eddie Culpepper. And that is how Callaway begins this game. Opening play, opening touchdown. And Callaway has six. 66 yards by Eddie Culpepper. They come out of that pro right, and they toss sweep to the right. Uh, motion man come across, leading around the corner with the fullback, kicking the man out, and he turns it up inside, breaks a couple of tackles, and gets into the secondary and runs 66 yards for the opening score. Didn't have any problems at all uh, scoring on their first possession. Chase Freeman ready to line up and take the kick. The kick is up, and it is good. So with 11.36 remaining in the first quarter, your score is Callaway 7, Best Academy 0. You're listening to Callaway Cavalier Football on AM 620 WTRP. That's right. We're not on a break. <laughs> All right. So that was a pretty fast, uh, <laughs> pretty fast uh, way to start the game. Just one play, and Eddie Culpepper just uh, – Takes it and runs with it, and Callaway's up. Fascinating run. Right. I mean, you know, they come out opening set and uh, good blocking up front by the offensive line, and they were able to open up a gap. We come out, you know, tall sweep, pretty pitch. Uh, we got it out there on the outside, and they just turned it up the field. That was a good pitch by Tez Parts. Hit Eddie right in his hand. Lead blocker. Uh, Devon Ross, or as you call him, the diesel, come around the corner, hit the man, kicked him out. Uh, Eddie turns it back up inside, and he breaks a couple little tackles from the linebacker and breaks through, and he gets into the secondary. Nobody's there, and he's off to the races, and out runs the far side corner into the end zone. Chase Freeman getting ready to kick off. While we do, we'll tell you a little bit about Best Academy this year. They are standing at 2-5 and five this year, 1-3 and three in Class 4, AAA, with victories coming over Cross Keys, Harrelson County, and their, their only region win was against Harrelson County as well. Freeman's kick is in the air, and Best Academy building it at around the 16-yard line, brings it out to the 20 to the 25. Still on his feet down at the 30 over to the 31-yard line. That is where Best will start their opening possession. And just like we uh, just like we uh, saw in pregame warm-ups, they uh, ran out of the shotgun primarily. Yeah, they come come out in the spread uh, offense probably, just like I'll most of the other Atlanta schools trying to use a little speed and quickness on the outside and um, get the ball to the quick guys or the skilled kids on the outside. Looks like they're going to come out under center this time. One running back and three wide receivers, two to the right, and have a split in. And said as well, they're going to pitch it this time. He'll get it by his way to the 30, and that's about as far as he'll get. There's a flag on the play around the line of scrimmage. Off to the right, top sweep off to the right side to the trip set. Referee's going to call holding on and bring it back. And that was a uh, just a play that uh, 
just really didn't uh, just didn't really connect as uh, at first he uh, threw the pitch out and got right back to the line of scrimmage. As we said, it's a holding call on the play that'll move him back uh, five yards inside the point. So that will be repeat first down. It'll be first down at 15 from the 32. No, excuse me, the 21 is where they're going to have it this time. They'll come out of the shotgun set this time. One back to his left. And two wide receivers to the left as well. Takes a snap. A little high. He goes to throw. Still on his feet. And down he goes inside the 15-yard line. That'll be a loss of a few yards on the play. Second down for best. Good hustle by Keyshawn Freeman bringing him down in the backfield for a loss. And going to bring up a second down extremely long for the Best Academy. Best or Academy best. Eagles, as we've said, they are uh, what I would like to call the minor league Georgia Tech. B-E-S-T, which stands for Business, Engineering, Science, and Technology Academy. They are an all-boys school here in the Atlanta public school system. And this is their first full year as a football team here in this brand uh, newly renovated Lakewood Stadium. It's beautiful here. We'll tell you more about it in just a few moments. Shotgun set this time. Out to the right are where the uh, receivers are going to be. To the left is where the back is going to be. Takes a snap. He looks to throw this time. He's going to throw. It's going to be caught. He's going to go to the 25, lose a few yards, bounce him all the way back to around the 26-yard line. Still going to be well short of a first down. That'll bring a third down. Yeah, they brought out a trip set. They had a tight end and two receivers out to the right. The outside receiver coming up in on a little soft slant. They only pick up about nine yards. He's wide open, a couple of missed tackles. Uh, and we're able to tackle him down for about a six-yard, seven-yard gain. Your quarterback is number five. Venterius Rashada, we're going to say. And we'd like to welcome you, all of you uh, people listening on WTRP AM 620. It is Callaway Cavalier football. Callaway is leading already 7 to nothing with nine minutes to go in the ball game. Best Academy third down, takes the snap. He's going to roll out, pitch it. He gets to the 25, and he'll lose a few yards on the play. No. Yeah, he's going to lose a cue and then jump right back inside the 25 to around the 26-yard line. That will bring up fourth down for the Eagles. Good kick. Good uh, containment by Callaway defense. Deion Bray hustling up the field, and uh, Keyshawn, Free- Keyshawn, Fr- Keyshawn Freeman keeping him in tight, uh, and the rest of the defense coming on hard and making a tackle, uh, bringing him a fourth down and long for best. Of- best. 9-13 to go in the first quarter of play. Your score, Callaway 7, Best Academy 0. The first score was a 66-yard run from Eddie Culpepper on the first play from scrimmage. He takes a snap. It's a little high, but he punts it away anyway. It will be uh, down at around the 49, but it will bounce. to take a good Callaway bounce, and they'll down it at around the 47-yard line. That's where Callaway is going to start their second possession of the ball game. I tell you what, this wind keeps picking up. We're going to be flying off the track. Yeah, I know. We're up, we're up very high here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Beautiful uh, newly renovated stadium. It's the first year since the new renovation. And uh, they said it can fit over 10,000 people. And they weren't, they weren't kidding about that at all. This stadium is huge here in Atlanta. They come out in the eye formation again this time. Leverett and Godwin, the two wide receivers. They're on either side of Tez Parks. Waiting for the signal. Takes the snap. He's going to hand off to the tailback again. He'll find his way to the 45, and that is where he will go down. A gain of about uh, two on the play. That'll bring up second down for the Cavs. They come out in the right fit and uh, run a little uh, trap play back up the middle with the tailback counter trade. And he does a uh, good couple of yards, only one yard on the play. Uh, they're running against a 5 3 defense, 3 3 deep. Uh, looks like the corners are matching up man to man, and with the safety standing in the middle of the field. High formation, two wide receivers. Looks like uh, Cortez Leonard coming into fullback. Tez is going to keep it himself. Go to the 45, to the 40, to the 30, still on his feet, and he'll go down at around the 31 yard line. That's going to be good enough for a Callaway first down. Good counter option play by Tez Park. He uh, uh, reversed out, looked up the field, tackled, and went up the field, so he just turned the ball up, kept it. Picked up about 12 yards on the play. 7 to nothing. your score. Callaway leading the best Academy Eagles. As we said, Eddie Culpepper scoring from 66 yards out on the first play from scrimmage on a nice pitch to the right side, giving Callaway the 7 to nothing lead over the Eagles of best. High formation again. 
for the Cavaliers. Two wide receivers, both to either side. Takes a snap. Parks and keeping himself. It's going to be a reverse to Godwin. He goes to the 30, the 25, 20. Finds his way to the 10. He's to the 5. He is going to score. Touchdown, Terry Godwin. Touchdown, Callaway Cavaliers. Fantastic reverse play. That was a set up play. They've been trying to get the touch, uh, Terry Godwin on touch plays a little more often. And there he comes back on the reverse. Set him that pro right set. And he comes back in motion to the left of the field and picked up some downfield blocking and runs into the end zone on a 31-yard touchdown run. Jet Snelling's ready for the hold. Chase Freeman ready for the kick. Takes a snap, holds, the kick is up, and it is good. So it's 7.45 to go in the first quarter of play. Your score, Callaway 14, Best Academy nothing. You're listening to Callaway Football on AM 620 WTRP. Families with triplets, group generation, in the Westbrook area. Along with their staff, many aren't in the group generation, in the area. While you will cost money to give it a price for service options, Google merchandise, to mean everything is connected. Copy the group generation, all the in the area, is money for You're listening to Callaway High School on AM 20 WTRP. Another possession, another short drive for the Callaway Cavaliers. They are up on the Best Academy Eagles by a score of 14 to nothing with 7.45 to go in the first quarter of play. There's an injured eagle on the field, but he is being helped off the field right now, and Chase Freeman is getting ready to kick the ball off for Best Academy's second possession of the ball game. So I guess uh, all the uh, Callaway fans that are listening on the radio didn't really get to hear the uh, first touchdown. So I want you to uh, take us through that very, very short process of the first uh, possession for Callaway. Our first touchdown came on a 66-yard run by Eddie Culpepper. We come out in pro right set and pitched. Tess Parks opened up, pitched the ball to Eddie, hit him right in the belly, and he took the ball. Uh, Le- LeBron, I mean, uh, the diesel as you call him, Made an excellent kick out box. Eddie turns it up inside and runs it 66 yards for the touchdown. Chase Freeman has the ball lined up. He is kicking the ball. It is in the air, and it is going to be taken inside the 10, inside the 5 to the 4. He's going to bring it out to the 10 to the 15, and he'll be down at around the 16-yard line. And Best Academy will start their second possession right here. Their first possession ended in a uh, punting situation. They... Uh, Didn't really gain much yardage on their first play. They gained a few, but a holding call call stopped that. So it looks like uh, the Best Academy will be starting their drive inside their 20. They're going to officially mark it at the 17-yard line. Nice coverage by the kickoff team. They're getting downfield pretty good on that one and better to keep the guy inside the 20-yard line. That's what you're looking for on a kickoff team, to get down the field, set them up in their uh, bad position, as you'd call it, you know. They're going to come out in the I formation. We've seen two formations already from Best today. One in shotgun, one I formation. They'll have one wide receiver to the left side. He'll hand off to his fullback, and he won't get very far at all, maybe a inch or two, and that'll bring up second down. He ran right into the teeth of the defense that time. They come out in an overload set to the right, uh, either I formation, and they're trying to run it inside, and our defense was spread out between the tackles. I mean, between the center and the guard, nobody was there. But we had a head man, a nose man head up there, and he he shot through that gap and made the tackle in the backfield. I mean, he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's all. Good charge by Michael Williams, Deion Bray, and LeBron's Lazela at the middle linebacker spot. Second down and 10 from the 17-yard line. They'll come out in a, a ace formation. They'll come out with two wide receivers to the left side. And now he's going to go back out to the shotgun set with a running back to his left. Takes a snap, looks to throw. He rolls out to his right, throws. It's going to be incomplete pass intended for the receiver at the 20-yard line. That'll bring up third down. That is going to be number five, the intended receiver. Yeah, they come out in a little trip set to the left, and they run the uh, wing back out into the flats. They run the two outside receivers up the field, trying to clear the corner. And he's open, but the quarterback couldn't get it to him, even though he rolled to that side. He had to. He threw the ball across his body. That makes it a you know pretty tough pass for you. 
6.43 to go in the first quarter of play. Callaway up already on Best Academy, 14 to nothing. Best Academy coming out third down and 10 from the 17-yard line. They'll come out in the shotgun set. Two wide receivers to the left. Trying to make them jump, and they're going to call a flag on the play. What did you see? Did you see a Callaway jump first? Yeah, Callaway, ball started? Callaway jumped offside on that play. Took the hard count and pulled the defensive tackles offside. So it's going to set it up again. We're third down and five for the best. They come out in a little, little right set with uh, twins left and looking for a little quick pass. 6.43 to go in the first quarter of play. Callaway leading Best Academy 14 to nothing. Third down and five for the Best Academy Eagles at the 22-yard line. So far, the best play has been that little trips right set and hit the little receiver coming in on the inside. And that's kind of what they got, got receivers to both sides this time. Shotgun set, takes a snap, looks to throw again deep in the pocket. He's being chased, and he'll get hit hard. And that'll be a big sack there for Callaway. That'll bring up fourth down. Keyshawn Freeman coming off the coming off their right side, coming in off the defensive left side, making a hard blitz. Got to the quarterback as he set up. He took the shotgun snap, but Keyshawn was full speed ahead. Never slowed down, broke through the line of scrimmage, and got him about eight yards deep. That'll bring up fourth down and 16. Ball at the, uh, we'll say the 17-yard line, getting ready for uh, Best Academy to punt it away. And he'll be standing in the shadow of his own end zone, so he's going to have a lot of pressure on him right now. Uh, fourth down and 16, Best Academy getting ready to punt for the second time tonight. Terry Goffman back to receive. Punch this one, a good little line drive. It's going to bounce it around the 36, and Terry's, uh, Terry will let it roll, and it'll land at the 49-yard line of Callaway. No, he can let it roll to the 48. And that's where Callaway will start their third possession with 5.45 to go in the first quarter of play. What do you see uh, Callaway doing in this third possession? I see us continuing to do what we do, work on what we do. They practice all week. And, you know, just try to main, maintain what they're doing. I mean, you got a windy day. You really don't want to put the ball in there unless you have to. You know, continue the ground game and see if you can't get these offensive linemen to blow up a couple of big holes and, you know, march the ball down the field. High formation for Callaway, Godwin, and P.D. Leverett on the right side this time. He'll take the snap, hands off to his tailback. He'll fight up through and get inside the 50, and that will bring up second down for Callaway. A little 44 lead right there, just straight back drive, dive right back up to the weak side, uh, you know, for about a four-yard game for Eddie Culpepper. That'll bring up second down and seven ball at the 48-yard line, just inside Best Academy territory. And Bunning Lindsay coming in at tailback for Eddie. And Wilson Lindsay has... Uh, Randy said, checking in at tailback. Two wide receivers both to the right side of Tess Parks. Takes the snap. Parks looks to throw. No, he's going to roll out. He's lost a lot of ground, so he's looking for somebody to get. And he'll get to the 50, to the 45, still on his feet to the 40. Looks to shimmy his way through, and he'll get inside the 40 to the 37-yard line. That will bring up a first down for the Cavaliers. That was a good hustle play by Tess. He got out to the outside, outrun a couple of guys to the corner. Able to pick up a first down right here um, for the Cavaliers. Ted's coming off a pretty pretty rough week. He's had that flu this week. So oh, really? He hadn't practiced a whole lot. I was glad to see him back. And See, he's, he's not having too much of a problem here with, uh, with Beth so far. Now, come out of the eye formation, two wide receivers, one to either side. God one over on the far right. Takes a snap, hands off to number three, the diesel. He'll just get over the 40 and he'll probably get to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. A half-yard loss on the carry. I mean, it was a little trap play. They blowed it up from the get-go. We, we just didn't get the seal blocks, and he cut it up inside, and there was nowhere to go, and he just got back to what he could. That will bring up second down and 11 ball at the 39-yard line for the Callaway Cavaliers on their third possession of the first quarter of play. They'll come out of the I formation again. Devon the diesel at fullback. He'll send Godwin in motion, and that's going to be a false start on the Callaway Cavaliers. Looks like the tight end got a little too excited and just ran up through, and that is going to be a five-yard penalty for the Cavaliers. 
Yeah, it was offensive tackle on the right side. He just jumped a little soon. Uh, we were in a little motion set and had an overload to the other side. Fix and run some kind of counter back the other way. And he got a little anxious trying to get his down block early. So now they'll have the ball. Second down and 16. Ball at the 44-yard line. I formation. Got one over on the far side. Penny Lever at the close side wide receiver. Come out in the eye formation. Takes a snap. Parks looks to throw. He has a guy open. It's right over his head. That'll bring up third down and 16 for the Cavs. Yeah, a little. He threw it off his back foot and threw it over Petey's head. I mean, Petey was open on a little inside post pattern. and uh, He just oh, sailed it right over. Like I told you, the wind's playing a big factor in this in the passing game today. That'll bring up third down and 16 for the Calloway Cavaliers. Ball at the 44-yard line. First quarter, 4.04 to go. You're scored Callaway 14. And best academy, zero. They'll come out in the shotgun set this time to try to convert on a long third down play. They'll have three wide receivers in this set, two to the near side, one to the far. Takes a snap. Parker's going to roll out. He's behind the 50 throws. The guy is incomplete. He was intended for number five, P.D. Leverett. That will bring up fourth down and 16 for the Cavaliers. Chase Freeman is on the field to punt. Yeah, they come out in a little shotgun set, spread formation. Uh, turn them out. I mean, it wasn't enough for a first down. Throw it behind the receiver, and the receiver falls incomplete. Stops the clock at 4-6. I mean, the play was wide open for a couple of receivers, but he rolled right, cutting his, cutting his lim you know, limited in his uh, – place to go with the ball. Punter Turner standing at his own 10-yard line. Freeman taking the punt, and he just boots this one straight up in the air. It's going to land inside the 15. He'll take it at the 11. Now, actually, he'll uh, take it around the 6-yard line, get to around the 7 or 8-yard line. They're going to mark him down at the 8, and that is where Cal uh, Best Academy will start their third possession of the game. And we saw this in basically every possession they've had so far. They start really, really close to their own end zone. We got a flag on the play on the far side of the field. And we'll see what that is. And wow. Flag yeah. line warning on, against uh, Callaway. Against Callaway. So, yeah, they're going to tell him to back up just a tad. Good coverage by Boom Lindsay on the co on the play. Uh, he's able to grab the guy's shirt as he's going by him and pull him down. That's right at the nine-yard line, you know, restricting return to about two yards. 3.57 to go in the first quarter. Your score, Callaway 14, Best Academy 0. We'd like to welcome everybody listening to AM620 WTRP as well as online. And we'll, uh, we'll wave to you in a second if you're actually watching the game online as well. They'll come out in a shotgun set this time, two backs and one wide receiver out to the left. He follows a snap. He's going to be taking uh, running back will pick it up. He'll get inside the five, and he's still fighting his way inside the, uh, actually just outside the 10-yard line. They're going to mark it at the 11-yard line. So that will be a gain of around three on the play for best. Well, he got hit in the backfield and was able to break the tackles. And defense is spread out because they're running a little spread offense. Got us spread all over the field. And we come in there, and a couple of guys missed him in the backfield. And he got back to the line of scrimmage and held fight his way for a couple of yards game. That'll bring up second down and eight for the uh, best Academy Eagles ball at the 10 yard line. So they are again deep in their own territory. They'll come out with three wide receivers this time all to the right side and a running back to the left. Takes a snap. He looks to throw. Has a guy. It's going to be caught, but he won't. He'll actually lose yardage on this play. He threw, threw it to a guy in the flats. He's actually going to be inside the five yard line. A big loss for best. Cornerback read the play perfectly. He went up trying to make an interception. The receiver caught the ball, but his hand was on the ball at the same time, so they started fighting for the ball. And the defense got come in and uh, took him on down and for about a eight, about a six yard loss. Third down and long now for the best Academy Eagles. Ball spotted at the four and a half yard line. And it looks like uh, yeah, they're actually huddling up in their end zone. That's how close they are. They'll come out this time in a yeah, they'll come out in the shotgun set this time. Three wide receivers and a tight end over to the right side. And he'll have a running back to his right. Takes a snap. He'll take the snap in his end zone. Look to throw. Has a guy in mind. Oh, he's going to run. He'll be tackled inside the end zone. Are they going to call it a safety? Uh, there's actually a fumble on the play. We'll see some uh, 
beanbag start on the field, and we'll see what happens. Like it's going to be recovered by Best, and I guess they did get out to the two-yard line, and that will bring up fourth down anyway for the Eagles. He was brought down in the end zone. I'm just wondering what they're discussing right here. They may be discussing the safety because he threw the ball forward from the end zone. And while they're discussing that, so that'll be a Callaway recovery. They're going to give him a first down inside their own five-yard line. Uh, too many men on the line of scrimmage was the call for uh, Best Academy, and that was uh, was a fumble anyway. So Callaway is going to pick it up, and they will have the ball. Let's see. Officially, it's going to be at the three-yard line. And so, Taylor, first and goal outside the three. Taylor, maybe something I missed, but wasn't he in the tackle box when he threw that ball? Yeah, that's what, yeah. That's what it looked like. Um, but they called it a fumble, so it wasn't a pass. That'll so. work. Eye formation for Tez Parks and the Callaway Cavaliers. Takes a snap, hands off. No, he's going to keep it himself, no? No, he gave it to the fullback. Gave it to Devon Rosser. He is in the end zone. Touchdown, Devon Rosser. Touchdown, Callaway. With 1.57 to go, Callaway adds six to their score. A little three-yard run by the fullback, LeBron Zalela. Uh, he checked in for uh, checked in for Devon Ross on this play. Another quick one-play drive that took three yards. Chase Freeman getting ready to kick the extra point. Out of the hold of number seven, Jet Snellings. Takes a snap. The hold's good. The kick is up, and it is... Good. So with 1.57 to go in the first quarter of play, your score, Callaway 21, Best Academy 0. You're listening to Callaway Football on AM 620 WTRP. We agree with We need And that's why we score each and every day. We want our And we're here to help them. Either our county or Jeff's range office and find out how to help you win too. The Grange Banking Company. Local. Just like you. The Grange Banking Company. Remember SDIC. You're listening to Cowboy High School on AM6 WTRP Grange. A drive that started on a fumble way deep in Best Academy territory only took three yards for a LeBron Zalela touchdown. With 157 to go in the first quarter, your score is Callaway 21. Best Academy, zero. I really don't know what the quarterback was thinking on that last play, though. I mean, you're in your end zone. I mean, you, you, I mean, I know you're trying to get outside your end zone, but why pitch the ball right there? I mean, you know, take the two-point safety and kick away, and you don't give up seven. Ball will be taken inside the 10, brings out the 15, the 20. He'll go to the 30, still on his feet, and he'll be down at around the 32-yard line. And that is where Best Academy will start their next possession. Several big hits for the Cavalier uh, coverage team. The Cortez pass finally bringing them down on the play. We are broadcasting live from Atlanta, Georgia, Lakewood Stadium, home of the Best Academy Eagles. Your score, 21 to nothing. Uh, Callaway leading the Best Academy Eagles. I mean, so far, I mean, you know, it's just been a, a horror of mistakes for the uh, best, of cat, best school. I mean, you know, they're coming out there and they're trying to do trips and here they're coming back in the overload set and see what they're going to run from there. Shotgun overload right. They'll have two running backs in the backfield. It's like they'll swap places. Takes a snap out of the shotgun. He looks to hand off to somebody and there uh, wasn't anybody there so the quarterback's going to keep it himself and lose a couple of yards. It's just a uh, Big miscommunication there from the Best Academy Eagles, and that will bring up second down. Another broken play in the backfield for Best. I mean, you know, he comes up, he takes a snap inside uh, left side receiver. I mean, running back supposed to cut across the belly. He didn't do it. And he went around behind him. The other guy went the other way, so he had nowhere else to do but try to scramble and get a, get a yardage, but he lo ends up losing two yards. Good hustle by the Cal Cavalier defense staying at home and, and just – Covering them up right there. They'll break the huddle. Best Academy coming out second down and 13 at the 29. They'll come out of the shotgun set this time. Two running backs, one to either side, and one wide receiver to the left. Takes a snap, hands off to his back. He's going to keep it himself in an option. 
He's still on his feet to the 30 to the 35, and he'll be down at the 36-yard line, and that is going to be uh, still about a, maybe six or seven yards away from a first down. Hard running by Christopher Seaborn, the quarterback, number nine. He comes out. They come out in that overset to the left, and they went back to the right, and, you know, he kept the ball in defense was right there to cover him up, but he's still able to fight his way and get a few yards before Callaway, the Cavaliers, were able to bring him down. Looks like they'll probably have time for one more play here in the first quarter as it is 20 seconds to go in the first quarter. Your score, Callaway 21, Best Academy 0 in Atlanta. Snap taken out of the shotgun. He rolls to his left, has a guy in mind. He throws, is going to be caught, and he's hit hard. Wow, what a hit. Looks like uh, number 10, Cortez Leonard, and number 6, Eddie Culpepper, were in on that. That will bring up a fourth down situation for the best Academy Eagles. When we come back, that is the end of the first quarter of play here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Your score, Callaway 21, best Academy nothing. You're listening to Callaway Football on AM 620 WTRP. You, do you plan to eat? Do DQ double cheeseburgers? Yes, I hire both. Beef and cheese are enjoyable to me. You want me, I say. Are you the master of me? Prepare to die. <laughs> My app will not die. Ah. Your heart is pure, like 100% beef. Ah. Bring your hearty appetite to local food clean. Two single cheeseburgers for $2.69. Two double cheeseburgers for three ninety nine. dollars Quick New Franklin, roll the grain. I am honored. You're listening to Callaway High School on AM6 WRP Range. We welcome you back to Atlanta, Georgia, Lakewood Stadium, home of the Best Academy Eagles, where Callaway is leading them 21 to nothing as we begin the second quarter of play. Now, I guess since it is Saturday here, we actually have some college football score updates, and here's one that's uh, as I'm looking at, I'm a little. Not really sure if I should be shocked or kind of expected, but Georgia is leading Florida at the end of the first quarter by a score of seven to nothing down in Jacksonville, Florida. Texas Tech leading Kansas State by a score of ten to three. That game is in the second quarter. Arizona leading USC by a score of ten to nothing. That's what we have so far. We are here at Lakewood Stadium, second quarter of play, getting ready to start Best Academy, third down and five. It's been the uh, best offensive uh, series so far. They're actually gaining positive yards. So we'll see what they come up with here on third down. Looks like they're going to take a timeout real quick. And while we do, I guess we'll run through some uh, scores and updated standings right now uh, as we have them. As, as we said, this is a Saturday afternoon game. So there were games played Thursday and last night as well. We'll take a look at our region first right now, if I can uh, – Get the win to hold off just a second to let me get this paper real quick. Okay, here we go. Uh, Games that happened last night. Heard County continuing to just uh, manhandle everybody. They defeated Temple last night, 62-7. Troop getting a big win, 47-37. Sandy Creek getting the best of LaGrange, 47-13. Harris County on their four-game winning streak. They defeated Lee County, 35-31. Central Carroll, 35. Jackson, 0. Chapel Hill 68, Harrelson County 19, and Rock Mart defeating Douglas right here last night by a score of 54 to 12. We'll look at region standings in just a second. Here are the uh, the first play of the uh, second quarter, and it's going to bring up fourth down and three, and they are looking to punt away. Godwin standing at his own 30. Takes a snap, punts it away. He'll catch it inside the 30 to the 35 to the 40, Still on his feet to the 45, and down he goes at the 46. A little low kick, and uh, Terry come up and grabbed the ball and trying to make something happen off the punt return. And only able to pick up about six yards on the return there. And that is where Callaway will start their next possession. They uh, scored uh, They scored out three out of their four possessions so far. Uh, two of those uh, scores coming just on one play drives, one a 66-yard run from Eddie Culpepper, and one a three-yard run from number 27, LeBron Zalela. They'll come out of the I formation this time, Leverett and number 12. Looks like that is going to be uh, Leonard. Now, actually, number 12, that is going to be Dante Lindsay. Hands off to his tailback. It's going to be number two, Boom Lindsay. He's hit inside the 45. He'll lose a few yards on the play. They'll bring up second down. 
No, come on a blitz that time and caught Callaway in a formation that, you know, they were able to get to the backfield and uh, bring up like a sack or whatever you want to call it, a loss of yardage play for the Cavaliers. I mean, you know, it's going to bring up a second down and long for Callaway. Best Academy band out and having a good time up here in the uh, here at Lakewood Stadium. Callaway coming out in an eye formation this time. Uh, two wide receivers both to the left side, number 12 and number four Godwin looks like. Takes a snap. He's going to hand off to his fullback. Still on his feet, finding his way to the 50, inside the 50 to the 48-yard line. And now it's going to be a few yards short of the first down. A good hard run, little straight handoff to uh, Diesel up in the middle, and he picked up about seven yards on the play. I mean, he was hit at the line of scrimmage, and he just kept powering forward and picking up about five yards after he was hit in the backfield. 10.38 to go in the first half of play. Your score, Callaway 21, best zero. Callaway has the ball third down and four from the 48 in the I formation. We'll have a tight end and two wide receivers. Send his receiver in motion. Takes a snap. He's going to pitch to his tailback again. He gets to the 50, and that is about as far as he'll go. He'll find his way to about the 48. That is number two, Boom Lindsay on the carry. That'll bring up fourth down. Another little toss sweep to the left. Uh, we have a player down, but a toss sweep, Boom Lindsay to the left. He's unable to pick up any yardage at all. He got back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. And while we do have a uh, – player on the field. We'll take a look at region standings as they stand. As we said, I mean, they'll change uh, today as this is the last game of the uh, last game of the week here in Class 4 AAA. But here we are, Callaway up atop. They have they are 6-1 on the year, 4-0 in the region. Chapel Hill moving to the second place, uh, moving to the second place spot. They are 5-3 and three and 4-1 four and one in the region. Central Carroll moving down after a loss to Rockmart last week. They are 4-4 four and 3-2. Four and three and two. In the region of Rockmart, they have uh, one. They just need one more win to get that fourth win in the region, and they will be in. Harrison County four and five, two and four in the region. Jackson four and four, two and three. Best Academy, the team that we are here, they are two and five, one and three in the region. And Douglas, the team we face next week, is one and seven, and they are zero oh and five. So we're still looking for one more team to wrap up the uh, region playoff berth, and we'll talk more about Region One AAA. In just a little bit, that's the team that this region will face in the first round of the playoffs. Chase Freeman back ready to punt for the Callaway Cavaliers. The best academy returner standing back at his own 11-yard line. Freeman's snap, and the kick is up, and he will take it at the 15-yard line. He'll bring it out to the 20, still on his feet, and down he'll go at the 24-yard line. First down, best academy. Good coverage by Josh Emery and uh, Terry Guy when they get down the field. Uh, a little high punt, the wind, you seem to catch a ball. Uh, good hands by the receiving, receiver on that. He's able to bring it in, run it back for about a 10 yard gain. But Callaway was hustled down the field, and Terry, Terry and Josh Emery were able to bring him down after about six or seven yard gain. 9.48 to go in the first half. Your score Callaway 21, best academy. Zero Best Academy getting ready to start their next possession. They will have it at their own 24-yard line, about the 24-and-a-half-yard line. The nose of the football is going to be at the 25. And they break the huddle. They'll come out in a shotgun set again, as we've seen uh, quite a bit so far. Two uh, two running backs either side, one running back, uh, one wide receiver to the left. Takes a snap, hands off. No, he's going to fake it, keep it himself, and he'll get hit in the backfield down at the 21-yard line, and that'll be a loss of about three on the play, second down. I, I really don't understand. Good good hustle by the Callaway defense. Callaway defense is not respecting the strong side. They're overloading to our left, and uh, we're stacking to their right. I mean, and every time they run to the right, they're not running anything back to the strength of the line. And, you know, and, and you run into the strength of the defense, it's shutting, you, it's shutting them down quick. Best Academy getting ready for second down and 13. Ball at the 21. They'll come out of the shotgun set again this time. They're going to have a split in. Actually, no, they're coming out in the ace formation. One running back, two split ends, and two wide receivers. 
Like he said, he follows the ball. He follows on it at the 20, and it looks like Best Academy is going to recover. It looks like the quarterback just let it slip right out of his hands. That'll bring up third down and a loss of about one. A little like the quarterback pulled out too soon. Defense right there. I mean, you know, we almost come up with the ball. The ball just barely gets to the, you know, gets to his hands. He drops it. Next thing, here we are set up. They come out that time in the wing formation, double wings, and we'll split in. This time they're coming out, looks like they're coming out the trip set to the right, left. Looks like it put, I uh, bring it back in. It lo almost looks like a quad then. They'll have one tied into the right side. They'll take the snap out of the shotgun. Three wide, one running back to his right. Takes a snap a little high, throws in the flats. It's going to be caught at the 15, and he will be hit inside the 15 down at the 14. That'll be another loss of about six. Nowhere to go. Up. Nowhere to go. Down. Great defense by Cow. Kale Cows. He's right there. They look. They run that little bubble screen out to the uh, left side, and Kale Cows sitting right there waiting on him. Best Academy getting ready to punt again. The punter standing at his own three-yard line. Looks like they'll have uh, two. Uh, Boom Lindsay's out there. Terry Godwin's both out there. And they're going to have two returners this time standing inside uh, the Best Academy 45. Takes a snap, punts this one away. Just a little pooch punt, and it'll roll to the 40, to the 41, and Callaway yeah. will oh. fall on it. Looks like it did hit a Callaway player while it was in the air, but a uh, good job there from number four, Terry Godwin, to pick that up. And yeah, Terry noticed that they hit the heel of the uh, blocking uh, man coming down the field, hitting the, you know, the quick man. And Terry hustled up there and dove on the ball for best to cover the ball. I mean, they were right there at it. Terry hustled, <laughs> saved Callaway the ball, you know, setting us up at the 41-yard line, going in on, against best. 7.21 to go in the second quarter of play. Your score. 21 to nothing, Callaway. They'll come out in the eye formation this time. He'll hand off to Devon the Diesel. No, Parker's going to keep it himself. He gets to the 35, to the 30, the 25. Jumps over to the 20, 15, 10, 5. And where are we going to go? And they are. Oh, wait, one ref is saying yes, one ref is saying no. So they're going to say yeah, he was down at the one-yard line. One yard line. Uh, fantastic keeper there from number one, Tess Parks. Like we said, one uh, one referee said yes, one referee said no, but the one that was close to the play said he was out at and the one-yard line. Either way, that's a big first down for Callaway. Great play. He come out on the option to the right, uh, set it up real nice, and he kept the ball. Everybody took at the fullback, had it. He rolled around the right end and they to pick up down to the three-yard line. I formation set. Takes a snap. Going to hand off to his tailback. It's number six, Eddie Culpepper. He fights his way in. Are they going to say he's in? They are! Touchdown! Callaway Cavaliers, number six, Eddie Culpepper, on the pitch again, and that is going to give Callaway six. Good play. The little toss sweep to the right. We run early for a long six to six yard touchdown run. This time it was only about a three yard run, but Eddie Culpepper on, was able to get into the end zone. The hold of Jet Snellings, the, cha uh, the uh, kick by uh, Chase Freeman are all good. So with 6.53 to go in the first half of play, your score is Callaway 28, Best Academy 0. You're listening to Callaway Cavalier Football on AM 620 WTRP. Attention all poorly drugs. This poorly drugs. Harry Fraser of Holmes Pharmacy has a special message. If you find yourself with a place to fill your I'd like to invite you to better your own pharmacy take care of your family. During this transition of fully drugs, come see us. We provide the same level of health care to all of you. Find out more. See us. Home pharmacy, 136 Thomas Avenue. You're listening to Callaway High School on AM 620 WTRC Grange. 6.53 to go in the second quarter of play. Your score is Callaway 28, Best Academy 0. A nice uh, three-yard run there from number six, Eddie Culpepper, is how we are where we are now. Yeah, a good 40-yard run set up that by uh, Terrace Park. He was able to get on the outside edge and uh, get down to the three-yard line. Then we come out there with a little toss sweep. Eddie Culpepper ready to get it into the end zone. 
the kick is away. It will be taken at the 10-yard line. He'll bring it out to the 15, to the 20. And now will get tripped up at the 17-yard uh, line. That is where Callaway, uh, excuse me, Best Academy will start their next possession. Down 28 to nothing. Yeah, Cortez Park just <laughs> cut through the uh, lead blockers on there and they get back there and grab him by the ankles and pull him down at about the 17 yard line. Good hustle on the coverage team. And we'll see what Best Academy can do because as we've seen, uh, they've started the majority of their drives very close to the uh, to their own end zone. If they don't, if they get it out to maybe the 20 or so, they always end up back there as well. So I'm interested to see what Best Academy does here to uh, maybe kind of change that up a little bit and get some more positive yards on the play. They break the huddle. They will come out in a uh, – see, it looks like they're going to come out in the I formation this time. Two tight ends, one uh, wide receiver out to the left. Takes a snap. Hand off to his running back. He gets to the 15, fights his way to around the 19. Back to uh, – Maybe just over the original line of scrimmage. Second now. Good hustle by the linebackers and uh, defensive tackles. They went, this time they went to that loaded side. They overloaded to the left, and they run the ball out of the eye formation to the left. Defense able to scurry back and make the play and keep him from gaining anything. He's just able to get back to the line of scrimmage. It seems like it plays are slow to develop. They, yeah. don't, they don't really hit the line of screen, Chris. Hey, got some big offensive linemen up there. I don't know why they're not running behind them more. Yeah, we've seen that in a few teams this uh, this year. Chapel Hill was one of those on the team we saw last week, Harrelson County. It seems like, you know, there were a few plays. They just weren't, you know, all 11 men weren't all together. That's going to be a flag on the play, and it looks like they're going to – no, actually it's going to be a timeout by Best Academy. And uh, – while we have that, we are going to look at Region 1 AAA, and that is where... Uh, Harrison County, still undefeated. That's right. Here, let's see. Okay, here we go. Region 1 AAA games last night. Appling County defeated Tattnall County by a score of 38-28. to Pierce County defeated Savannah 35-14. to Southeast Bullock defeated Beach by a score of 27-6. to And we're not the only team playing on Saturday. It looks like Johnson and Brantley County are going to be playing today. Pierce County is 8-1, still undefeated in the region, as Randy said, 6-0. and Appling County 7-1-1. and They are 5-1 and in their region. Tattnall County 3-2 and in the region, 4-4 four and four overall. And Southeast Bullock uh, only needing two more wins to uh, advance to the playoffs. They are 4-4, four 2-3 and, four, two and three overall. Right now, that's who we'd be playing. If we Southeast played today, Bullock. we'd be playing Southeast Bullock at home at Callaway Stadium. Uh, Tacknell County is the other team that, you know, they're in a fight right there for third and fourth. Whoever the fourth place team is is who will be seeing the first round of the playoffs. Best Academy coming out now, second down and 10 out of the I formation. Takes a snap. He'll hand off to his tailback. He'll get to the 15, to the 20, to the 21, and he'll be tackled right there down and around the 22-yard line. That'll bring up third down. Yeah, we Quintavious Anderson missed him in the backfield. He was able to get around the edge and pick up a couple of yards, a, a positive play for him. They have another player down on the field at this time, though. Beach Academy coming in at number five in one at AAA at two and six, two and three overall. Johnson Savannah, they're playing tonight against Brantley County. They are one and six in the region, one and three. Uh, actually, no, one and six overall, one and three in the region. Savannah, two and six, one and four in the region in Brantley County, 1-6 and 0-4 and oh and in the region. So like we said, it's going to be a slim chance that we'll see either Johnson, Savannah, or Brantley County in the playoffs as they are playing tonight. No likelihood we'll be seeing either Southeast Bullock or Tacknell County. I mean, it's going to come down to their game probably for that fourth spot. I mean, when it goes third, I mean, you know, you're not in a good position either way, you know, in that third or fourth spot. Uh, We'll be playing one of those in the first round of the playoffs should we continue to do what we're supposed to do. That's right. We uh, we only have to uh, worry about Chapel Hill. They only have one loss in the region, and that was to us, a 35-0 to zero, uh, victory for Callaway over Chapel Hill a few weeks ago. 28 to nothing is your score here at in Atlanta, Best Academy. 
Taking the ball. He's going to run it out the middle to the 35, and that's going to be good enough for a first down. And it may be the first or second first down they've had. It was just one of those that they, the quarterback saw an opening was like, okay, forget this. I'm going to run up the field and get a first down. That's going to be a first the down for the quarterback field. sneaks right up the middle of the field. They seen it uncovered, so the quarterback took the ball, running straight up the field. Picking up about seven, eight yards and a first down, far the best to get him. And I believe that's their first one today. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too, was either their uh, first or second, but, yes, it was their uh, first first down in the game when it comes with five minutes to go in the first half of play. They'll come out again in an uh, – no, let's see. They're yeah, yeah, they'll come out in the uh, shotgun. No, the ace formation, I uh, formation. They'll come out fullback. And one wide receiver to the right. He's going to pitch. And is the fumble on the play? It is picked up by Best Academy. And it was just a pitch, and it looks like the uh, running back's hands just weren't open all the way. I don't really, I don't really know, but it was a fumble on the play, and they'll lose. They run a little counter option play right there, and the quarterback opens up one way, and you know, and, and reverses out, and the tailback takes step one way and goes the other way. Instead of being able to hand it off, he had to pitch it to the tailback, hit the tailback in the chest, ball bounced forward. Luckily, uh, he was able to recover the ball before Callaway defense was right there on him. Inside four minutes to go in the ball on uh, the uh, second quarter of play, your score 28 to nothing. Callaway leading Best Academy. They'll come out in a shotgun set, four wide receivers and a running back to his left. Takes a snap, looks to throw. Has a guy in mind. It's going to be broken up by Callaway. That'll bring a third down now and 12 for the Eagles. Yeah, Justin Perkins getting his hand up, slapping the ball down as it tries. They tried a little inside pass right there you know, to the tight end, a little release pass, quick pass, and he knocked it down, and there's nowhere to go. As we said, that'll bring up third down and 12. Now ball at the 33-yard line of Best Academy in the second quarter. And as we said, they've only had one first down in the whole game, and that was what we just saw a few minutes ago on the quarterback sneak and got him, uh, got him out to around the 35-yard uh, line. They'll have third down and 12 from the 33 right now. They'll come out of the shotgun set, two wide receivers, and they'll have a running back on the right side. Takes a snap, rolls out to his right. He's being chased. He throws. going to be caught, and he's hit at around the 39-yard line. Still going to be about six yards short of the first down. Now we'll bring up fourth down for the Eagles. Yeah, about a seven-yard gain there. Still going to bring up fourth down and about seven. Uh, Terry Godwin coming up and making a hit on the receiver, and he's still down on the field. Um, good, clean hit. I mean, you know. Nice little pass. He's wide open out there in the flats, and Terry able to break off and come up and make the tackle. Looks like there's going to be a timeout on the field. I can't really tell. It looks like there's, yeah, there is a player down on the field for Best Academy. When the timeout is over, it'll be fourth down and six. Ball at the 39-yard line. Best uh, looking to punt. And I guess it was a good thing that uh, the player that was injured, it looks like he's uh, – Holding his leg, uh, he was, you know, he got, he was right there at the sideline. So he's, uh, he's off the field now, getting, uh, getting some attention. We're glad that, to see that he is okay. Fourth down and six from the 39-yard line now for the Best Academy Eagles. I'm not really sure what they're going to do. Okay, now they uh, bring out another look, and I'm, I'm, it looks like uh, Godwin wasn't 100% sure either because he was on the line, getting ready to, uh, getting ready to try to defend the play, but he is out. Ready to receive the punt at the 36-yard line of Callaway. A little confusion. Trying to get personnel change, changes in there to get people on the field for this punt. He takes the snap. The punt is in the air. Just a little line drive. He'll take it at the 35. No, he's going to take it to the 30. He'll bring it out to the 35, to the 40, to the 45, to the 50, to the 45. And out of bounds he goes. At the 41-yard line, no, they're going to they're going to say he went out of the 39, and that is where uh, Callaway is going to start their next possession with 2:41 to go in the first half of play. Yeah, Callaway come out there. He he looks soft punt and hustle. He just he just set him up for it. I mean, you know, Terry was just standing there waiting and waiting. It rolled. It looked like they were giving up on the ball, so he just runs over, picks it up, and scoots down the sideline, picking up about 15 yards on the play. 2.41 to go in the first half of play. Callaway getting ready to start their next possession. They are up on Best Academy right now, 28 to nothing. 
Ball at the 38-yard line of Callaway. They'll come out in the I formation. Two wide receivers to the left this time. Still waiting on a word from the official to start the play clock. Still waiting. And we'll uh, take a look like Petey Leverett is going to be the uh, one of the wide receivers. It looks like they're uh, not really sure what's uh, what's going on right now. Looks like uh, Callaway was ready to run their play, and they went back in the huddle. There wasn't a flag thrown. I'm, uh, I'm something really to do sure. with the football. Okay. I guess we're going to play with their football. And it looks like Tess Parks is uh, getting the signals from Coach Wiggins. He they checked the ball before the, the game, and they put marks on them. If they don't have those marks, they don't let them put them in the game. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. And so that time, the other team's ball was still on the field, and they were waiting for Callaway to bring the ball out. And each time they brought one out, they throwed it back. All right, here we go. So now we got that uh, situation behind us. First down and 10 for Callaway. They'll come out in the eye formation. He'll hand off to his tailback. He'll get up to the 35 down at the 32-yard line. Looks like that's number six. Eddie Culpepper on the carry, and that will bring up second down. A little, little pro set to the right. I mean, we'll tie it in to the right. They run right behind him, and he'll pick up about six, seven yards. Eddie just cutting right through the defensive line. Uh, right here, we need to put 2.17 to go. Need to put one more on the scoreboard, four to half. Let's see what we can do right here. 2.09 to go in the first half of play. Callaway coming out in a eye formation. He'll hand off to the tailback again. He'll get to the 30, and he'll hit the wall and lose a couple of yards Great right after that. Great defensive play by them. I mean, they stood their ground. I mean, you know, run right into the teeth of the defense. Uh, linebacker coming off that side. Uh, nothing open. And, you know, got back to the line of scrimmage, and that was it. 143 to go. Your score is 28 to nothing. Callaway. Uh, it is quarter number two here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. They'll come out in the I formation again. Takes a snap, hands off to his fullback. He's going to fight hard, and it's going to be the diesel still pushing through. And he'll get a first down by a large margin. He'll fight down at the 21 yard line. First down, Callaway. Good hard plowing out there. Straight ahead dive. Uh, by Devon, and he got the ball. He powered his way by seven-yard gain and picking up the first name down for Callaway and sends it up in, on the 21-yard line for the next series. We are now almost inside one minute to go in the first half of play. Callaway coming out in an eye formation again. Hand off to the tailback. No, Parks looks to throw. He's got a guy in mind. Throws is going to be inter oh, almost intercepted by Best Academy. It would have been intercepted in the end zone. That's going to bring up second down now and 10 from the 21. I mean, that was, you know, they were on the twin set out here, kept the tight end in, and they were able to seal block it and run two receivers out on the route. Terry Godwin went inside out, uh, and Leverett went inside. And he was, they were man-to-man -man coverage, and there was nowhere to throw the ball. He was actually double coverage where he threw the ball. They'll come out in the shotgun set this time. Uh, three wide receivers and a tight end in this set. The uh, two wide receivers on the left, one on the right, and a running back to his right. Takes a snap, looks to throw. Is he going to keep it himself? He is. He's going to get to the 20, to the 15, to the 10, to the 5. And that is where, no, he's still on his feet. He'll fight all the way through to the three-yard line. And now, again, that's going to be enough for a Callaway first down. Just one that he just looked confused, not sure where he was going to go. And Taz Parks found a way, as he always does, to get a ton of yardage. They had him spread out. Uh, you know, the defensive backs were in the middle of the field. Uh, he got by the first line of defense and got into the secondary. Nobody at home going to set us up first and goal at the three-yard line. 37 seconds to go in the first half. Callaway coming out in an I formation. Two wide receivers to the right side. Takes a snap. Going to hand off to the tailback. He fights through. That's number two. Boom, Lindsey. He scores. Touchdown, Boom, Lindsey. Touchdown, Callaway Cavaliers. That time they brought uh, Eddie Culpepper in as a lead blocker and just hustled right up the middle. Just a straight lead play right up the middle for a three-yard touchdown run by Boom, Lindsey. 
Extra point pending your score, Callaway 34, Best Academy 0 with 24 seconds to go in the first half of play. Takes a snap, the kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 24 seconds to go in the first half of play, your score, Callaway 35, Best Academy 0. You're listening to Callaway Cavalier Football, AM 620 WTRP. Caring about building relationships, supporting our community. At CBNT, it's what we do, day after day, year after year. Here at our 71, we've worked hard to thank people and money. Probably no surprise that we have local branches or ATMs to spend any other bank in the area. Here's CBNT, familiar faces and welcoming smile. Yeah, I think you get to wish. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the You're listening to High School on AM620 WTRP Range. Chase Freeman getting ready to kick off after scoring, uh, after Callaway scoring their 35th point of the game, a uh, handoff to number two, Boom Lindsay, from about three yards out. 24 seconds to go in the first half of play here at Lakewood Stadium in beautiful Atlanta, Georgia. Your score, Callaway 35. Best zero. The ball will be taken at the 16-yard line. He'll bring it out to the 20, to the 25. Still on his feet, and he'll be down at the 26. There's a fumble on the play, and uh, Callaway doesn't look too excited. So Green back comes like, flying uh, in. So that that best one referee's pointing Callaway ball. And we'll see if they're right. And they're pointing toward Best Academy. So they did come up. Uh, come up with the ball. and I mean, it's like I said, I mean, you can kind of uh, usually tell, well, sometimes you can, sometimes you can't by the way the uh, uh, the defense is acting. If they're, you know, all excited, hey, we got the ball, we got the ball. Yeah. You know, maybe, maybe six times out of ten, that means, yeah, they got the ball. Other times they're like, referee, don't look don't look at the ball. Just, just look at what I'm doing. We're pointing toward our, we're our side of the field. We want that. So, Cal- Calibre was doing neither of that. They were just like, oh, I mean, it wasn't, it, it wasn't a set up play. I mean, it's a good hard hit. The guy fumbled the ball. The back judge come throwing in the bean bag and called a fumble. And the side judge was saying, Callaway ball. And everybody's down on the ground fighting, looking to who had the ball. Looks like uh, Callaway did pick up the ball. Excuse me. He'll come out eye formation. Tess Parks takes a snap. He looks to throw. He's got a guy open. He's got him. It is going to be in oh. In and out of the hands of the best guy and in and out of the hands right of the best and right out of Eddie's hands. And Eddie just says, uh-oh. Uh, Ten seconds to go, and it uh, looks like uh, Eddie was – maybe his uh, pride was hurt a little bit because he sat there and was like, oh. He skinned oh, himself up on that run, <laughs> that off run right there on the little long, long jump pit right there. Yeah. That, or the, let's see. That's going to be the high jump pit. He skinned his leg on that little path that they run off on. 10.1 seconds to go here in the first half of play at Lakewood Stadium. Your score to Callaway, leading Best Academy 35 to nothing. They're coming in the shotgun set this time. Uh, three wide receivers, two to the left, one to the right. And there looks like it's going to be a uh, another, another uh, no. timeout, Best Academy. Yeah, the referee over here has the ball in his hand, so I guess they had another uh, uh, more uh, more confusion there with the ball situation. I guess we'll take it with them. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Your score, Callaway 35, Best Academy 0 here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. You're listening to Callaway Football on AM 620 WTRP. West Georgia Health Delivery. Providing health the new South Tower has expanded the cardiologist. Emergency. Labor and delivery systems in the area. We prepare the future. The issue of West Georgia health will be the one that you can help with diagnostic and wellness programs for you and your community. You're listening to LA High School on AM620 WTRP Grange. First down and 10 now for the, no, actually second down and 10 now for the Callaway Cavaliers with nine seconds to go in the first half of play. Callaway leading 35 to nothing. They come out in the shotgun set. Tez looks to pass. He's just going to keep it himself, and he's not going to get out of trouble this time, and I think that is going to be the last play of the first half as Tez takes the sack. 
That is halftime here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Your score, Callaway 35, Best Academy 0. We'll be right back in just a few moments to recap the first half here on AM620 WTRP. You're listening to Callaway Football on AM620 WTRP. Higgins, we got Chapel Funeral Hospital. proud to be a part of our community. They're family owned and operated. All my Higgins family here in the brain. Located at 100 North Professor Drive. You can give them a call at 7 or 471 team and express pre arrangement service. All traditional service courses and cremation to fit your needs. Get prices to fit your needs. Support your locally owned and operated for all the as they support the local sport programs. The Siggins for Great Chapel Funeral Hall. You're listening to Callaway High School on AM20 WTRP Grange. Welcome back here to Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta, home of the Best Academy Eagles, where the Callaway Cavaliers are leading by a score of 35 to nothing here at halftime. So I guess we're going to turn things over to Randy. He's going to tell us about all the uh, scoring that happened from Callaway only. Here. Yeah, it's uh, in the first quarter we had. Oh, scored on the first play from scrimmage on a 66-yard Eddie Cole Pepper touchdown run, uh, and the PAT was good. Made it put us up seven nothing. Then we come back with a 31-yard reverse by Terry Godwin, uh, PAT good, uh, 14 to nothing. We come back, uh, mistake by them. Le- we got the ball down on the three-yard line. LeBron Zazela uh, was able to run it in from three yards and put us up 21 nothing. I mean, and then the second quarter. We come out on a th- another three-yard run by Eddie Culpepper after a good run by Tez Parks that set it up, and we we're up 28 nothing with uh, 6.53 to go in the second quarter. Then we come back late uh, on a three-yard run by Boom Lindsay, and PAT was good. It put us up 35 nothing with 24.9 seconds to go in, in the half. I mean, you know, it's just been a dominating performance by Callaway on defensive side of the ball. We've only allowed one first down all day. Uh, defense is hustling. Special teams uh, have gone our way. Uh, I mean, we we just opened up the game, and, you know, we've continued to, you know, put it on them. And I, I say at half, we'll see probably the first string come out for one series or two series, and we'll probably see a lot of young kids coming in the game. Um at this point, I think they'll probably put the uh, running clock in on the second half, you know, and that's only timeouts and stuff that will stop the clock. Uh, I mean, to me, with the big kids at Best Academy, God, I, I can't understand why not running those quick backs they got right back at us. I mean, you know, I don't know. They, they set up to the wide side, put strength out there, and we don't run to it. They do other things, and we don't run to it. Yeah, just like uh, just like we said too, um, they've only had one first down this entire entire game. And that was on a quarterback sneak that nobody in the stadium thought was going to happen. Yeah, and that's yeah the only first down that Callaway's given up. And Callaway's given up uh, hasn't really given up you know many yards either. A Cal- uh, Bess has probably had the ball maybe five or six times and one first down. So that, that's not too um, shabby. We punted it's, twice. We punted twice in the game. And that was off of mistakes that we made. Not so, because. yeah, it could be a lot worse than it is already. Yeah. So. I mean, you know, we, we're we doing we're doing what we ha- have to do. And, I mean, you know, the game, you know, is, is the score sounds like the game. I mean, that's my opinion. Yeah. I exactly. mean, you know, it's that lopsided. I mean, they're not – they're not – we they've stopped us maybe two times on offense – where we've stopped ourselves on just general mistake. And one th- good thing tonight, we are not putting the ball on the ground. We're not making those mistakes. But we're making little stuff, you know, missing a block here, getting caught in the backfield, missing a block there, getting caught in the backfield. Um, you know, right there at the end, you, you say that was slot play because all we're trying to do is get another quick score. I mean, you know, we hit Eddie in the hands in the back of the end zone. Next time we come out, I mean, they got us covered. And, you know, know where to go with the ball and know where to run. I mean, you know, pick us up, you know. And on the previous series, I mean, where we got the long run to set up the last score, uh, Tess did it again for us. He set us up on the long run right back up the middle, broke it down the middle of the field, set us up on the three-yard line. We were able to run it in for a touchdown. I mean, where, where do you go from here? I mean, you know, 
you put your younger kids in, you, are you going to bring your off, regular offense back out there right now? You know, take a chance on somebody that might get hurt. Or are you going to put start seven right here and play the game from here on out with your, your subs? Yeah, another thing that I like, too, about Callaway is even though they know they're not playing a Central Carroll or a Hurd County, they're still not giving up. Mm -mm. I mean, you know, just this late in the season, you're undefeated in the region and you're playing a team, you know, just like Best Academy that uh, only has one win in the region right. uh, and only two wins overall. Uh, I but mean, they got just, athletes, though. That's right, yeah. They're they still have good-looking athletes. Quarterback's not a bad-looking kid. I mean, he's probably 6'2", 6'3". Uh, got a good arm on him. I mean, tailbacks, good size kids, offensive line. They outsize us on the line of scrimmage. I mean, they're bigger than we are, and we're still able to do what we're doing. And, you know, because we they work hard at it. The coaches work them hard all week long to get ready for Friday and Saturdays and when we have to play. I mean, you know, that's that's important key to it. I mean, you got to play. Your, your game is during the week. This right here is a success to what you did during the week. That's right. Um, we'd like to say uh, hello to everybody that's listening on AM620 WT apart, uh, DRP as well as online. Uh, if you're not on there, you can uh, go online to our website. Is it 620WTRP.com? Yeah, you can go to WTRP620. You can either listen to it online or you can watch a live video broadcast online too. So you can watch it live or listen to it live. Uh, if you get a cell phone, uh, radioloyalty.com, and just look at WTRP. You look at it on your smartphone. Let's do it at the house. If you want to watch it, you'll see a watch live video button there. It'll take you actually to uh, justin.tv. And we kind of put a little blurb up there, kind of keep you updated with the score. And uh, also we got two camera system that we're working on right now and <laughs> they're laughing hey, everybody. Yeah, work. <laughs> <laughs> right now it's, it's focused on them but we also take a shot of the scoreboard every now and then kind of keep you updated as to the score and time yeah. stuff like that so it, it's a work in progress and these guys sat there and watched and laugh while i was putting all this together <laughs> <laughs> but uh we're, this is our second time doing it so and my camera work is still a little shaky. I need to get some WD-40 for my <laughs> tripod. A little bear grease, some like bacon grease or something. It gets a little stuck every now and then. But uh, either way, we hope you enjoy it. Let us know what you think about it. Uh, like I said, there's going. we got some mistakes we're working through, so bear with us. We're getting there, yeah. Your score here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta is 35 to nothing in favor of Callaway. And since it is Saturday, I'm sure a lot of uh, a lot of people around us are wanting to know some uh, college football cares scores. about college football. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm sure a lot of people in the state of Georgia will really care about this one. Georgia leading Florida 7-6 to six right now in seven the uh, cocktail party. And uh, Texas A&M, Auburn coming up. Alabama, Mississippi State coming up Who? as well. Alabama, Mississippi State. Oh, that yeah, game? That'll be, that'll be a big one. What was that one you don't even mention? It. Yeah, yeah. Take. It is basically Johnny <laughs> Johnny football against the Auburn defense. It's basically what it is. Johnny Take. football Johnny against football. pumpkins. <laughs> Tell you what, let's do. We got the halftime show. Let's go on into the halftime show right here on AM620 <laughs> WTRP. Yeah, we will do that. We'll be back with more Callaway football in just a bit. But now here's the halftime show Callaway performing live right now. Your score 35 0 Callaway over Best Academy. <laughs> Good families been privileged to serve generations of families in the West area. Along with their to continue that tradition. Caring service in the area. Quality McKibben. Trying to offer service options and funeral merchandise to meet every financial need. Quality McKibben and Sons Funeral Hall. Serving the area. Enjoyable. 
to me. On every ice day. Or do some out to me. Compared to time. My appetite will not be fine. Your heart is your like 100% beef. Bring your hearty appetite to your local dairy. Two single cheeseburgers for two sixty nine, or two double cheeseburgers for three ninety nine. Dairy Queen Franklin Road. I invite you to eat the package. I honor. Attention all quality drug customers. This quality drug is closed. Harry Fraser of Holmes Pharmacy has a special message for you. If you find yourself with a place to fill your prescription, I would like to invite you to let the Holmes Pharmacy take care of your family. During this edition, fully closed. Come see that we can provide the same level of comfort care that you have always received and taken for quality drugs. Find out more. Come see us at Holmes Pharmacy. One third. With us, your culture is most important to you. Closer to home, Grange McGrath. Closer to money, with mobile internet and six local ATM. Help you use another public sets of ATM in the southeast. Closer to people who care about you. Local local decisions. Your CDN. With thirty today, CDN is a vision of the best for it. The economy summer. Hello and welcome to this Tommy Palmer. It's time for this week's update. Brought to you each week at the time I arrive. We are heading into week 10 of the high school. Fall season from the state of Georgia, and there are top games that each classification class through class six eight, and these are jockeying for hopeful playoff position. We've got some top games to just put out, and we'll be back after this on top games this week. Early off road at Fitzgerald. It's likely 
Valley at Lombard. Benedict Lummis on the play at the fifth. In Lions to Lovett. It is at Bethlehem. Union County plays at Raven County. Scrub County at East Orange. The key to map up there. I think we are on the road at Bacon County. Mountain at Freeman. Manchester. Next on the agenda, and here the top games in players at Scotty. Big trip to Flintstone. A fair bill is Parkville. Park County plays at Rival Elder County. Hopson at Washington County. Top game is in Triple A. Beach County is at Pike County. It's White County. Dawson County. St. Michael's 10 is at Woodward Academy. Jack Lamp is at Central of Carroll. Apple Hill plays at Carrollson County. Central of Lake plays at Harbor of Plays at Central Creekside. 
is south of Valdosta. It is at Crawford County. Hilton plays at Walton. Wheeler is at Lassiter. And Archer plays at Southwest. And those are your top games this week. Brought to you by Verizon. This is Tommy Palmer. Thanks for listening. We'll be back again next week. Test, test, okay, there we go, that's me. Hey, Aaron, are you there? Chase wings and things. Open the road and it's in LaGrange. Hey, Aaron, are you there? The word one pops up a lot. All graduates work for the one company for an Emmy and Grammy nomination. Make it back to their city, which is wonderful. We're the number one choice in from all over the Southeast. One visit, it doesn't matter whether you hang with the dog, or the roll with the dog, or sing with the dog, it's all the dog has in the field. Rain, health, and all surrounding sports, clothes, and accessories. You've got all our sports, and Carhartt apparel. Hello, hello, hello. Fun ride, flipper ride. Get on your pony, ride, baby, ride. To the Army store. Fun at that Rocky and Parkway. Look, Rain. Hello, hello, hello. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. I hear the radio, but I don't hear me. Yeah, I can hear that, okay. All right. Welcome back to Lakewood Stadium here in Atlanta, home of the best Academy Eagles. It is uh, time's winding down here at halftime. We're getting ready to start the second half of play. Your score, Callaway 35 and best Academy 0. And it's, it's been a fun game so far if you're a Callaway Cavalier fan. Yes, it has. I mean, you know, all Callaway all, all the way. Hopefully we continue to do it right here in the second half. I'm not sure, but I think they've elected right here to go to a running clock in the second half. That is right. And we're, we're, we're kind of uh, thinking that's the case, too, because, uh, as we said, it is a 35-point deficit at halftime. 
And they have another game to get into, so uh, I'm sure they're going to try to hurry up this game as much as possible. I mean, it's an election on the coach's part at this point. I mean, it still has to be a 40-point game, 40-point yeah. lead for any, you know, for the running clock to occur. But uh, coaches can elect to go ahead and run the clock, you know, that way they don't have to deal with it. And they are making their way to the sideline and getting their uh, teams up. Callaway will be kicking the best academy to start the second half of play. So that's what uh, that's what we're going to be looking at right now. Best Academy, as you said, they've only had one, uh, one first down this entire game. It was on a quarterback sneak that gained around uh, six, seven yards, and it was good enough to get them a first down. And uh, – so we'll, well, I mean, we'll see how long it takes if uh, maybe if Callaway scores again or maybe they're going to start putting uh, putting everybody in uh, now, just like we saw in the Harrelson County game where they'll take 11 men in, and then as soon as that plays over, get 11 more men out there, just get everybody yeah. some playing time. And that will help uh, depth-wise too, especially in the playoffs when you have more players that can go out there, play with everybody, and just uh, – and, well, you know, you, if there's an injury, too, it helps, too. Yeah, you can get, you know, those things you work on in practice and get, you know, your depth selected already and get your secondary and third-level player who you want to put in. Say you got one defensive tackle that you'll use for both defensive tackles or two defensive tackles should one go down. Um, you know, and then the way I've seen them so far, we've rotated a couple of defensive tackles each series, every – you know, certain down and distance situations will bring certain personnel in the game. So they've kept people pretty fresh so far during, during the game. Chilly afternoon here in Atlanta, Georgia, here at Lakewood Stadium here on the uh, southern part of town. Uh, Chase Freeman getting ready to tee off, but the uh, the ball just doesn't want to stay on the tee, so he's going to ask for uh, ask some assistance from uh, number 22 to uh, keep the ball up and make sure that the ball – gets in the air. The referee is about to make his signal, and the whistle has blown. So whenever Chase Freeman is ready, we can get the second half underway. 35 to nothing, your score, Callaway leading the best Academy Eagles. The kick is in the air, and it's going to go inside the 25 to the 23. And bring it out to the 25 to the 30. I'll trip up it around the 35-yard line. That's where best Academy will start their uh, first possession. Just a little short kick. A little short kick by Chase. I mean, you know, no, no depth on it at all. Kicked it to the up back, and he was able to cut it back up inside. And only gained about four yards on the play. And Callaway's coverage teams down the field to cover him. And looking at the clock, it is look like they are going to just let the clock run the entire for the rest of the uh, second half. Where I mean, it'll still be uh, two 12-minute quarters, but there will be – uh, no stoppage of play except in a timeout situation or an injury or something like that. So just look for a very fast uh, second half here in Atlanta. They'll come out first down to 10 from the 35 in the I formation. They'll take the snap and he'll hand off to his tailback. He'll run lateral, get to the 35 to the 39-yard line. That'll bring up second down. Good hustle by the defense on the outside. Num number 12, uh, Dante Lindsay, who's hustled up, come up and made the play on the outside keeping it to a short uh, minimal gain of four yards. And just like that, a minute is already off the clock after just one play. It is 10.45 to go in the third quarter. Your score, Callaway 35, Best Academy 0. Second down and five from the 40-yard line for the Best Academy Eagles coming out right now. They break the huddle. Looks like they're just going to stay in the I formation here with uh, one wide receiver and two tight ends all on the right side. Takes a snap, going to hand off. No, he's going to keep it himself. He'll run to the 35, and he's down at the 39-yard line. Good tackle there so, by Eddie Culpepper. Yeah, good just... way good way to uh, read the defense there from number six, Eddie Culpepper. As you said, he gets back to the line of scrimmage. Maybe he loses a half a step. Now right. bring a third down. Nowhere to go. Just He's just right there. I mean, you know, cover team sitting there. Uh, aggressive up, defense is aggressive up front, making big, you know, causing them to have – mistakes in the backfield and Callaway's just getting after him. They'll come out of formation again, third down and seven ball on the 38-yard line. One wide receiver and two tight ends. He'll hand off to his running back. He'll get to the 40, to the 45 down at the 47-yard line. That's going to be good enough for a best academy first down there, second of the game. Yeah, that's a good play for them. They would have to pick up their second, uh, first down of the second half. I mean, first, first down of the second half. 
got a lot of young kids coming in and out of the game. Callaway does, and you know, just getting different ones. I mean, right now we're getting some of the starters back in. You know, 27 with Zayda coming back in at linebacker. They've had a young freshman in there, at Rashawn Loveless, in at linebacker for a couple of play that series. Now Zayda's back at linebacker. First down and 10 from the 46 yard line. Take the snap. He's going to hand off to his tailback again. He'll get to the 45 to midfield. Fights his way over to the 46 yard line. And that'll bring up second down for the Eagles. You know, since the second half started, they've come out and they've run behind those big linemen. Like I, we talked about during the halftime. I mean, they, you know, they've got some nice sized linemen and they're running right behind them. And they exploded it right there for uh, first down and about a six yard run and running behind the overload set that they've been setting up all day. Second down and four now for the best Academy Eagles. Ball at the 47-yard line. 8.28 to go in the third quarter of play here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. They'll come out in the I formation this time. As we've uh, seen this entire drive, they're going to be in the I formation. Two tight ends to the right and one wide receiver to the right, fullback and running back. He's going to hand off to his fullback this time. No, it's going to be an option play, and he'll be hit in the backfield down at the 50-yard line. Good play by Deion Bray. Defensive tackle come through there, unblocked, and made the tackle on the quarterback as he optioned. Uh, it let the fullback go through, and he tried to take the ball around the outside, and he'd make the tackle in the backfield. Third down and seven now, ball at midfield for the best Academy Eagles. Wearing the all blue except for the gold helmets. As we said, they're shuffling guys in and out for this, uh, for this play here. They're probably going to do that for the rest of the game. Uh, try to get some uh, fresh players in there. Some of the younger kids that don't play much are going to be in there as well. Shotgun set for the best Academy Eagles. Two wide receivers out to the right side. And it looks like there's going to be a flag on the play. It looks like a best Academy tight end just jumped up a little too early there, and that's going to move it back five more yards. It's going to bring up third down and 12. Yeah, he just got a little anxious, come off the ball, bounce forward, and uh, outside of the too bad he's on the outside. Everybody's seen him in the stadium. The whole defensive line pointing at him. So they move him back five for for best. They'll come out in the same set this time to uh, wide receivers, one running back. He looks to pass this time. He's way deep. He throws. He's going to be caught, but he's going to be out of bounds. No, he's, are they? Or, I mean, I'm not really sure. I can't tell if he was out of bounds or not. And it looks like they're going to spot the ball at the 40-yard line, and that is going to be good enough for a best academy first down. No, that's going to bring them up short. Going to bring them up about one yard short. Yeah, one referee said 40. The other referees are standing at the 45 going, hey, we're over here. <laughs> so that's uh, – sorry yeah. for the confusion out there, folks. But, yes, yeah, it's going to be about a yard and a half short for the best Academy Eagles. Fourth down and two with exactly seven minutes to go in the third quarter for best Academy. See if we stay on sides this time on a long count. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like exactly that's what uh, – that's what's going to happen. That'll bring up fourth down and two. They're going to go for it right here out of the I formation. Uh, two tight ends, one wide receiver. They're going to hand off. He'll get to the 45 to the 40, and that's going to be good enough for a best academy first down, the third first down of the night. Yeah, they come up in that overload set. Quick uh, quick snap and just run it right off to the right side, pick up four yards, and first down. They're running right behind those big boys. Yeah, I started to say, according to the WTRP super limbs, it looked like he had stepped out of bounds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's what it looked like, too, on that play. Yeah, one, ref- one referee didn't see it, and the other ones did. Well, so. uh, <laughs> no whistle over there. I mean, yeah. uh, kind of delayed whistle if there was one. That'll bring up first down and 10, ball at the 40-yard line for the best Academy Eagles. We are halfway through the third quarter here at Lakewood Stadium. Takes a snap, hands off to the tailback. He'll get to the 40, to the 35, down at the 32-yard line. And they're going to be about two yards shy of the first down. Not trying to do anything, just fancy, just coming out straight, running the ball at us. That time they run a little lead off the left side. Uh, Good blocking by the offensive line. Defense just, we're rotating a lot of people in and out. So a lot of young guys are in there, uh, you know, as time goes on. So they were able to pick up about seven yards on the play. Second down and uh, we'll say about two and a half right now for the best Academy Eagles. Still in the huddle talking things over. And as we said, there's going to be a running clock the rest of the ball game. So if you're thinking, oh, well, this half just started, 
There's only uh, five minutes to go in the third quarter, and it's going to be a running clock the entire time. Best comes out of an eye formation. Take the snap. He's going to hand off to his fullback. That's not fooling the Callaway line at all, and he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Good defensive surge by the Callaway defensive line. I mean, you know, we were able to meet him at the line of scrimmage. He's only able to pick up maybe a half yard, if any, and that's going to bring him up uh, third down and short situation. Third down and two from the 32-yard line now for the Best Academy Eagles. Only uh, having three first downs and two of them coming in this possession. 4.32 to go in the third quarter of play. Callaway 35, Best Academy 0. They'll come out I formation this time. Looks like they're just going to continue to run the ball as they've done so far uh, this game. Takes a snap and hand off to his tailback. He's got it to the 35 to the 25, and that is going to be good enough for a Best Academy first down. Yeah, Boom Lindsay made a made a good play right there. Uh, they caught Callaway and they, their shift, uh, where Callaway quick shifts them, try to get them to jump offside. They run the ball on the outside, picking up about about six, seven yards for a first down. They're going to come out this time now. The quarterback's going back on the field after getting the signal from his head coach. Best Academy uh, trying their best now to try to uh, get some points on the scoreboard to uh, fade the shutout away. Your score is 35 to nothing, Callaway over Best Academy. They'll come out of the I formation again. Takes a snap. He's going to hand off to his tailback. He'll get to the 25 down at the 23. That'll bring up a second down and about eight. They're still running behind that big offensive line, like I said. That's what I've been doing all day. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Uh, you know, but defense able to stand there and only keep them to a two-yard gain, uh, rotating people in and out, as we said. Now that uh, Deion Bray comes back in the game, Michael Williams goes off to the sideline. Uh, but best is just nothing, nothing fancy. They're just coming out, just running straight at us and continuing to move the ball as the clock runs. They'll come out in a shotgun set this time on second down and eight. Two uh, wide receivers to the right side. A running back to the quarterback's right. Takes a snap. He'll roll out to the right. Looks to throw. He's got it. He's going to be caught inside the 15 to the 10 down to the nine-yard line. The closest best has gotten to the end zone all night long, and that's going to be another first down for Best Academy. Got a flag on the play down here on the outside uh, where they tackled the receiver. Uh, and we'll great. See that was a good pass by is. Seaborn. I mean, they sent one receiver deep, and one receiver on an out pattern, about 15 yards down the field. He's wide open. They hit him in the, hit him right where he's at, and you know, defensive corner come up and made the tackle. So that is what the play is going to be. A personal foul on Callaway after the hit of helmet to helmet contact. Yeah, and that's it looks gonna like make it. Let's see. They're gonna bring. It's gonna be a first down, regardless. They are now inside the. They got to mark the penalty off still. That should be half the distance to the goal. If he's down right there, it's gonna be half the distance. So to it'll the be goal. inside the five, definitely. Maybe yeah. the four. While they're talking that out, they are gonna move it up. They're gonna put it down at the around the four yard line, just like we said. In, uh, Best Academy four yards away from pay dirt here in this third quarter. The score is 35 to nothing. Callaway leading Best Academy. We'll come out in an eye formation set. One wide receiver to the right and a fullback and running back. Trying to get him to jump. Trying to get him close to the end zone. He's going to keep it himself. No, he's going to hand off to the running back. He'll get hit outside of the five down at the six. A loss of about two or three on the play. Second down. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was just laughing right there. Linebacker come through there and grab the ankle of the football. Got uh, the tailback. He stopped because he pulled his shoe off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Good aggressive, good aggressive defense by Callaway. I mean, we were able to shut him down for about a four-yard loss on the play. It's going to bring up a second down from about six. It's a two-yard loss. Time winding down here in the third quarter of play at Lakewood Stadium. Your score. Callaway 35, Best Academy 0 with 1.38 to go in the third quarter of play. I formation set for the Eagles. 
He'll get down, ready to take the snap. He takes it, going to hand off to his tailback again. He'll get inside the five, and he'll be tackled at around the two-yard line. That'll bring up third down and goal for the Eagles. Yeah, he gets back down to the three-yard, about two-yard line, and uh, on a little outside run, Callaway Cavaliers were able to shut him down, keep him from getting into the end zone. One minute and five seconds to go in the third quarter is your score. As we said, they're going to uh, just let the clock run out the rest of the game, exactly 12 minutes and uh, no stoppage time. The only time they really stopped the uh, clock here in this half is when there was a penalty and they had to, you know, discuss some things. Mm -hmm. And that's the only reason. Now we're inside one minute to go in the third quarter of play. Best Academy at the two-yard line, third down. Looks like they're talking it over with the fullback, making sure everybody's on the same page. Takes a snap, going to hand off to his tailback. He'll fight his way through, and they're going to stop him at the one-yard line. That'll bring up fourth down for the Eagles. Going to bring him up fourth down, a little dive play off the right side. Defense stands his ground, only gives up a yard and a half, and now it's going to play fourth down and goal from about the half-foot line. That's going to be uh, 13 seconds to go, and... I mean, they're holding, they're holding around. I think this, they're just going to let the clock run out here and try to uh, take their talents over to the other end of the field to get that fourth quarter play down, and that is what's going to happen. At the end of the third quarter, your score is Callaway 35, Best Academy 0. You're listening to Callaway Cavalier Football on AM620 WTRP. The fourth quarter is next. If chicken wings is something you crave, then you'll love DJ Kings and Pigs. Nobody gets a small party going. DJs, yeah, dead for flavor, for miles to drag hot. Grand for a snack. Order up a party at different tailgates. A whole menu to from, including sandwiches and stuff. If you've got friends football, all you need is from DJs, wings, and things. Hogan'sville Road and his side is crazy. You're the only one that goes on the M620. You are the only Getting ready to start the fourth quarter here at Lakewood Stadium in Atlanta. Your score, Callaway 35 and Best Academy is there. We're going to run through some scores in college football on this Saturday. At halftime in Jacksonville, it is Georgia 7, Florida 6. That game is at halftime. Uh, Kansas State 27, Texas Tech 10 is your score at halftime. We'll see if we can pull up some uh, SEC scores in just a few seconds as uh, Best Academy Getting ready to, for a big fourth down play inside the two-yard line. Uh, getting ready to get their first score of the game. Or maybe Callaway will have something to say about that. We'll see. It is now fourth down and one from the one-yard line for Best Academy. They are down by 35 at their house. They're coming out in that overload set again. They've been running behind it this whole, whole set third quarter. Now they're going to. Got him set up. Big 71 set up there as a tackle. Quarterback a snap sneak straight ahead. It looks like. Oh, they're still fighting. And one quarterback is saying touchdown, and we're waiting on all of them to agree. And, yes, two or more agree. So that is going to be the first touchdown of the day for uh, the best Academy Eagles. It is now 35-6 to with 11.49 to go in the ball game. Best Academy getting ready for their extra point. Yeah, just a straight little quarterback sneak. I mean, you know, off to the left side, uh, able to just drive into the end zone. I mean, you're only a half yard away to get six foot three. I drove and drove it over the side anyway. You got them back right behind it, pushing him into the end zone. And it looks like they are uh, going to take a timeout. Best Academy is going to take a timeout to kind of uh, discuss if they want to go, uh, go all in or just try to get the uh, – get the extra points. So here's some uh, scores in the SEC right now. Uh, Final score out of Columbia, it is uh, number 13, South Carolina, just defeating Tennessee by a score of 38 to 35. And just like I was uh, was telling you before, uh, either one of these teams are going to get their first SEC win, and I thought Missouri was going to be get Kentucky, and they did, 33 to 10. Your final score, Ole Miss defeating Arkansas today, 30 to 27. And as we said, the game that's in progress right now is Georgia and Florida. It is halftime. 7-6 to six is your score. I guess we'll take a look at some uh, ACC scores, or maybe not just the whole ACC, maybe Georgia Tech 
Here we they, go. Uh, they're playing BYU today just right up the road at Grand Field. The score is 38-17 BYU leading the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Here mm. are the best Academy Eagles getting ready to go for two right now. That is what they discussed. No, they were the setting up for the line. extra point. Uh, they are going to set up for the extra point this time. I'm telling you, they, they've done this a few times. It looks like they're going to be shotgun, but they're not. The snap, the hole, the kick is up, and it is going to be a little wide, and this will be no good. Your score with 11.49 to go in the ball game, Callaway 35 and Best Academy Six. So what has impressed you most about uh, Callaway today? I mean, they, have, they haven't had the ball in the second half, of course, but, I mean, the first half is just – Fantastic football. Just, I mean, you know, overall execution, I mean, of Cavaliers. I mean, we've come out. We executed the coach's game plan. We put 35 points on the uh, board in the first half. We've uh, caused mistakes, and uh, and we've actually, you know, we've taken those mistakes and turned them into scores on the scoreboard for us. And, I mean, it's been a great day for Cal- to be a Cavalier. Even though it's windy and cool up here where we're at, I mean the sun's shining on the field. And it's and we'll hear. Warm. We'll hear from uh, Walter for a little bit. Walter, what's your take on the game so far? Well, I tell you what, it's been a great day for Callaway. They really hadn't been stopped. Uh, of course, uh, giving up just a kind of you know fourth quarter touchdown. Defense looks good. They, they look balanced. That's right. Um, see, they have. Uh, Best Academy tonight, and then we have a Thursday game next week against uh, another team from Atlanta, Douglas, but they will be here at Callaway Stadium. So uh, Now our next two at home. That's right, yes. Douglas our, and uh, Rockmark. Our last road game for the regular season pending the playoffs. Best Academy getting ready to kick off to Callaway. And the kick is in the air. They're just going to line drive. It's going to be taken to Callaway by the 30 to the 35. He'll get to the 40, still on his feet, and he'll go down at around the 37-yard line. That's where Callaway will start their next hey, possession. Hey, the diesel guy, their kickoff return. That's He's right. Really what can he not do with this team? <laughs> exactly. Still have yet to see him throw a pass, but he can do basically everything else you tell him to do. you got to play defense, play the linebacker, and be the water boy, too. Yeah, you probably could. <laughs> Devon Ross, a great young man, a good student. I mean, what a lot of good. He? I think he's a junior this year. Wow. So he's going he's gonna to be back for this team next year? Yeah. Wow. Can you just imagine, <laughs> imagine what Cowboys He's a tailback now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Looks like they're just going <laughs> to fight through this time, run as much time off the clock as they can. They'll hand off to Big Diesel. He'll get to the 40 to the 45, trucking over people, and he'll get to the 49-yard line about two yards shy of the first down. Well, straight out of LeBron's little in at fullback. Uh, as we said, Devon Ross at tailback. Uh, bringing a couple of young kids in on the offensive line and running those two young men right behind on a little power play to the right. Uh, and picked up seven. Second down and short. I mean, you know, clock's running. Just keep the ball in their hands. Keep the ball running. Don't do anything to help the other team. That's right. Yeah, just uh, keep it simple. Yeah. Keep it simple right here. They're stacking a line of scrimmage on defense. See what we do right here. Gonna Come back off the they shot the gap. Devon De- 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 broke the tackle. And that is going to be good enough for the Callaway first down. First down and 10 now for the Cavaliers. I'm sorry. I, I was just talking oh, about it. Right I mean, yeah. it. There he was. I mean, you know, he come out there and they, they broke through. They sent the linebacker off the weak side. He come through there. The offensive line didn't pick him up. He hit Devon in the backfield, and Devon broke the tackle. Kept going, able to pick up four yards and the first down for Cavalier. And it looks like, as we said, another game is coming on, uh, coming here at Lakewood Stadium tonight, and a few of the uh, fans and cheerleaders from the other teams are making their way into the stadium. All right. Did you hear? I mean, have you heard what uh, what teams are playing after this? I, I didn't quite understand him earlier when he announced it, when he was going through the earlier thing, talking about the second game after this one. They'll come out of the eye formation this time. He'll hand off to the fullback, and he'll get nowhere. Was that uh, number 27, LeBron Zalera? Yeah, that was LeBron's getting – he tripped over the offensive lineman's foot. I mean, as I said, we got a bunch of young offensive linemen in the game right now, young kids, and uh, they're getting, you know, we're going to get the number one team for their best, and they blowed us back in the backfield, and he was able to make the uh, – he tripped over the guard's foot as we were trying to get a, get to the line of scrimmage. Second down and 11 now for the Callaway Cavaliers. 
takes a snap. They'll hand off to the tailback. He'll fight his way across the 50 down to the 46-yard line, back to the original line of scrimmage. That'll bring up third down. Yeah, that was uh, Le- uh, D- Devon-, Devon Rosser running at tailback again. And number 16 is the quarterback, Dre Martin, uh, on the play. Yeah, we've seen time. him quite a bit a few times this year. Yeah, I've seen him a few times, and, you know, he's just a freshman. He played in middle school last year. They'll come out of the eye formation again this time. Uh, LeBron Zalela, the big fullback this time. Two wide receivers to either side. Takes the snap. He's going to keep it himself. Run up field. He'll get hit in the backfield, and that'll bring up a fourth down play for the Callaway Cavaliers. A little counter option play, and he just nowhere to go, really. I mean, you know, got the young offensive line in there trying to get a lot of young kids in there at this time. Going to bring in the number one punt team, though, right here so we can punt the ball. 